Wednesday, August 6th. I just got back from my run to Perth, putting the money in the bank, and uh, I ended up going to Canadian Tire. I got a few things. I got a couple of surprise things I didn't expect to spend money on or get, but the sale was good, and I'm going, well, this is perfect. So anyways, uh, but the drive there and back, if you want to see that, that's on the portrait style over on TikTok or the, the other one there, Instagram. So anyways, Canadian Tire was a very successful trip. I ended up getting new tie downs, I needed them, and the DeWalt's were on sale $20 off. So I've got the ones, uh, this will be for the ATV in, in the back, so these will be strong, one on this corner, one on that corner, the blue ones I'll just put them aside, but these are nice big heavy DeWalt's, the price was, uh, was $56.99 was the regular price, I got them for $34.99. So I even got, what, $22. And they're 1.5 inches and 16 feet. So lots of uh, extra thing. And then this one here is the 1 and 3 eighths and 14. And uh, so that's going to be for the boat. So a strap, you know, in the, in the back and a strap in the front, you know, on, to keep it on the trailer. This, I still can't believe I got a good deal on this. But I haven't bought a new uh, safety, you know, uh, personal flotation device um pfd uh in years and the one i have on the boat now is like 30 years old and i never use it, it just stays uh, as the back as my chair but i saw these and i thought geez look at their double x large and they're nice they're thinner they're comfy i ended up buying one i thought you know what i'm in georgian bay it's time to upgrade my safety equipment i've got the money right now to do it so i'm doing it so i mean we're going to be there three weeks so i want to make sure i have everything working tickety boo as they say so now the big thing is I didn't know Penn Reels had gotten their shit together these last few years because the original, original ones were great. Then there was a time they went through Chinese make or something. I don't know. Something changed and it wasn't for the good. Well, now they have, they've got this combination for $150 for the rod. It's a Penn Mariner, the trolling rod. And then a Pen 309. But the beauty of this, compared to the ones they were selling just five years ago, because I had to go buy my super old ones. But watch this. Okay, where can I go? I'll go over here. Um, the action, like on the... Like, the, obviously, they've improved the bearings and everything else. Like, this will blow your mind. Hang on a minute. I'm not going to do that. It's hard to do everything with one hand today. Can I do it this way? There we go. Okay, I can do it that way. Look at this. And that's like... Now, the ones that they were selling even just five years ago, the bearings were so crappy, they were like stiff and everything. This is like the old Pen 309s. It's just not that reddish maroon color. I've got... Uh, my other rod is... Uh, I still have that, so I'll never give up my original Pen 309. But anyways, so I ended up with a new... Trolling rod, so I'm happy about that because now I will rig that one up, like I said, for... I'm going to rig that one up for the downrigger and then my old ugly stick one with the other Pen 309, that one's going to stay with the lead core. There's lead core on it now. I may just change out the line. And then, um, happily so, I picked up some new uh, braid, so... You know, that'll be, uh, I'll probably throw the 10 pound, you know, as on the other rod that I'll be doing the down rigging because I don't need lead core for down rigging, right? So, anyways, new emergency kit with an LED uh, uh, flashlight and everything. So, that'll keep if I get jacked up by the, uh, you know, the Coast Guard or whoever's doing that these days. And then my three, six, well, two successful lures. I catch everything on these things from trout to walleye and everything. And it's just a standard old Rapala jointed J11. Now they only had this size. 
So, but I'm happy because I've caught a ton of trout and a ton of walleye on these. And I mean, like everybody goes like, you're using these? I said, well, yeah, because I'll put this on the lead core and then with the lip on it, and it gets it down to 50 feet easily. And then of course with the downrigger, <laughs> it does what it's thing. So I got, I keep that version always. I got, I got my old ones too. I'm just going to have to check the, check the, uh, the treble hooks on them, they might be rusty, I'll have to change them out. And then I got the typical one, two with the white and the blue top. Now, I wanted some moose hooks, they didn't have them. Those are the um, fluorescent orange ones that we use around here for trout as well. And that's all I really need in my entire tackle box. All these other lures I have, I don't need them. I don't even know why I bother keeping them because it's these three things. I've caught everything. I catch everything. And I mean, I want to catch bass. I can use the ja the, the wraps. If I want to catch walleye, I can use the wrap of the jointed. Like I said, if I want to catch pike, same thing. I mean, everything. But then they also, I have, that's where I've been catching my trout is on those. I know that's weird, but that's how it's been working. Now this here is not a moose, a uh, moose look. It's a, sp a moose look is a spoon, uh, but it's bright orange, like fluorescent orange. And that's the other one that I use. So, so if I'm not having any luck with the Rapalas, well then I switch over to the moose look. And I mean, that covers. Now the moose looks, um, the or bright orange ones, I've actually tried them with, uh, with walleye and caught them. So I just think that my Rapalas are better. But anyways, I saw this uh, from Williams and it's got kind of got that same color just with the instead of being bright fluorescent orange it's kind of two-tone i thought you know what i'm going to bring that with me or buy it it was 15 bucks or less i think this one and i thought you know what i'll bring her with me because it might just work now i'm pretty sure i can get the mo new some new moose looks on the moose looks on the uh on the uh, uh, on the Amazon or somewhere online, so yeah, we're gonna try that. And then I stopped at the weed store. I wanted to pick up some more of those um, infused things. So this one I got because when Luke came here the other day to look at the uh, the, the the bus, um, he brought some weed with him. So uh, he gave me one a joint out of his little box, like you know, from the weed store that he goes to in Toronto. Anyways, it was, and I, I managed to find it at our store. It's uh, it's called Fully Charged Strawberry Slurricane and Purple Punch and Do Si Do, five keef coated thc whatever whatever and then uh what is it thc it's really high in thc i'm just not sure what i'm reading here anyways i know this but it's the taste oh my gosh when he brought that and i tasted it it was like i i mean i, I cared about getting buzz but i mean it was like so tasty it was like wow and then this other one i saw i've never seen before it's called dab bods and it's this one is motor breath 60s and double infused pre-rolls thc level is 24 total thc is 626 i guess that's all the joints at once so anyways um it's not always the strength right so anyway i'm gonna try these i'll you know one of each i'll have a coffee but not right now i've got stuff to do but um yeah, I don't want to be trying to buy stuff on Amazon and having too much of a buzz because these these have some kick. So um, I did. OK, I didn't say it on this one. The uh, Brett is taking the bus out of here tomorrow. CAA is coming to pick it up. So um, because he bought it and it's in his name now, um, uh, he went to the ministry and um, um, bleh, bleh, um so yeah, so now, and then he got himself the, the extended package. And that's one thing, guys, when you're uh, like, you know, if you're getting CAA and you got an RV or whatever, make sure you get that extended package so they'll come get you. And they do other things. It's worth like the extra five or six bucks a month, whatever the hell it is. So I don't use CAA. I have another one directly from Chrysler uh, or Ram or whatever they call themselves nowadays. And uh, so I'm... I'm good, and I and I got way more coverage with it than CAA, and I don't pay anything. It all came part of the tr truck deal, so no extra money out of my pocket. Okay, well, listen, I'm going to let you go. Um, I'll try and get these up today because this, you know, we're doing the rundown now to Sabo Beach, so no point in putting them up three months after I've been there or whatever, right? So that air conditioner's on too cold. Where is that? There. 
up with the air conditioner. Actually, how warm is it? I might just switch back over to the fans. Not yet. It's still, still too humid, I guess. That's okay. So, all right. Well, listen. I'll, uh, I guess it'll be like a part one, two, three, whatever it is. I'll uh, see you guys later. Thank you for coming. Uh, listen, if you want to follow me over on Patreon, it's two bucks a month. That helps the cause. And I put up private pictures there, sometimes private videos if there's other stuff. Anything I can't really do on YouTube or whatever, that's Patreon. Diana's there. She's been there since pretty much day one. And then there's another person there, name unknown. Sorry, uh, whoever you are, I would tell you, say thank you for what you're doing, but, I, you know, unknown. <laughs> what do you want me to do? So, and I mean, anybody that watches my videos knows Diana's in there, you know, commenting pretty regular. So, you know, she's known amongst uh, the people that follow me, well, at least the ones that are paying attention. So, and uh, yeah, Digger, if you see this, yeah, we need to have a private conversation about the boat sale. He was not, uh, he didn't know. Like he was, he sent me a message saying, I didn't really know you were selling the boat or something. I'm like, okay, uh, not the boat, the, the bus. And he was going to offer me 7,000, I guess, I'm assuming American. And I'm like, fuck. Oh, sorry. Anyways, uh, it is what it is, but I'm happy with the guy that got it. Brett, my neighbor, new friend. That's got more value than the extra couple of thousand dollars. So, okay, everyone. So, listen, be good. I always, as I always say, patreon.com slash lad from the woods. Uh, Twitter, Rumble, Instagram, all those just lad from the woods. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Bye bye.